Allahu Akbar. Our position is that extremists have tarnished the meaning of jihad in the public conversation, in the public sphere. Jihad is a central tenet of the Islamic faith. Simply put, it means to struggle to get to a better place, to struggle in the way of God, in the way of Allah. Late last year, Ahmed Rehab launched a campaign on buses and subways to define the word jihad. It was a direct response to a controversial ad promoted by Pamela Geller. The definition of jihad is holy war. I don't dispute that there are uh, Muslims that do not, uh, you know, associate violence with jihad, but there are a great many Muslims that do. For more on the studio is Pamela Geller. Now I want to ask Pamela you, Geller first gained prominence for her opposition to the construction of a mosque and Islamic cultural center near Ground Zero. Last fall, she was back in the limelight when her anti-jihad ads became the center of a free speech tussle in New York City. I'm running them because I can. I was really shocked that she just straight out and called people of Palestine savages. In response to Pamela Geller's ads, Ahmed Rahab asked everybody to either Facebook or tweet their jihads, their personal jihads. While most English dictionaries refer to the Arabic word jihad as a holy war, it is also defined simply as a struggle. The My Jihad campaign is a campaign to educate people about what the word jihad is, which has been misused by Muslims and non-Muslims. Jihad literally means struggle, and so we wanted to bring out um, different struggles of different, you know, your typical Muslim Americans. Dalia Hasabala says her personal jihad is to exercise. Yeah, I said, okay, cool, we'll just do a photo shoot, and it's probably going to be on the website. I, I had no idea it was going to go on buses. I, I, Kind of didn't believe it in the beginning, but then I was like very surprised when it actually happened. The ads appeared on buses in Chicago and San Francisco and subway stations in Washington. Last month at the Chicago office of the Center for American Islamic Relations, volunteers posed for new campaign ads. I want you to talk to me with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Tell me your journey, your story. Mm -hmm. Okay? The campaign prompted Ms. Geller's group, the American Freedom Defense Initiative, to run their own jihad ads on buses in Chicago and Washington. It will soon run in San Francisco. The point of the brand new campaign was to counter a fallacious and bogus campaign, a bizarre campaign, saying that jihad is about getting to the gym on time. I mean, really. Ms. Geller's ads feature Major Nidal Hassan, who is accused of the Fort Hood massacre, the Turkish Prime Minister, and Faisal Shahzad of the failed Times Square car bombing. One ad shows Osama bin Laden and the New York Twin Towers on fire. The fact that she wants to pay money to put bin Laden's face on a bus and bin Laden's um, words on a bus, we all know bin Laden, we all know what he said, but she feels the need to echo his message. She's someone who wants to agitate just like he did. Uh, whether you agree with our position or not, the First Amendment protects all speech, not just ideas that we like. Uh, that's easy. It's ideas that we don't like that uh, require protection because then who would decide what's good and what's forbidden? The, the MTA, these Muslim Brotherhood groups? Ms. Geller had to modify her new campaign after lawyers for My Jihad said she violated their trademark. She wanted to encroach upon our space, our brand, our trade dress, to use a legal term, using the same colors, fonts, the same terms, my jihad, the hashtag, what is yours. All of that, which becomes a trade dress for a particular advertising campaign. In Chicago, commuters seemed unaware of the controversy playing out on the side of their buses. I just don't pay attention to media and stuff like that just because I know the subliminal messages and the stuff that goes on behind it and it's nothing good, so... Most don't care or are confused. I've seen, I've seen them similar like, like those around the city. Like the, the, the positive one that I saw or the other one I saw, I, I like that one a lot more than the one on the side of this place. Anything that's going to provoke thought and exchange of dialogue is always good. Even it might, might be kind of bumpy in the beginning. For now, both organizations say the struggle to reclaim the word jihad continues. For The New York Times, this is Posey Tang.